What's up guys, as those of you who watch the channel know, uh, my parents and I combined our home gym equipment into their basement and there's a package waiting for me at their house that needs to be open. Let's go. So we've got yet another rep fitness box in the home gym. Let's take a look at it, we'll open it up, put it together, see what we got here. Surprise, surprise, you already know what we have here. You saw the title of the video. So we're taking a look at the Rep FB 5000, Flat Bench 5000. Uh, I'm going to put it together. I'm gonna use it for today's workout, give you some initial impressions, and then in the second half of the video, I will use this a few more times, come back and give this uh, more of a thorough, in-depth review. And then you'll also notice that I'm sitting on the Rep AB 5100. So we already have one of the top of the line uh, adjustable benches that are on the market. So why would we then add this flat bench to the mix? So we'll talk about flat benches versus adjustable benches and why you might want one over the other based on what you're using it for, what your budget is, all that kind of stuff. And then if you already have one or the other, why would you want to then add another bench to it? So we'll get into all of that in the second half of the video. Getting into the initial impressions of this bench, I am thoroughly impressed for what you get for the money here. This bench is only 150 bucks, which kind of gets a little bit into why you might want to go with a flat bench versus a adjustable bench, but we will talk about that more later in the video. Um, it doesn't take too terribly long to put together. It took me about probably 30 minutes to put together. Would have took me a little bit less time, but uh, I was trying to be in a hurry and use the included tools and one thing that i was always taught as a kid that i should have taken into account now is my parents would always say those who rush take twice as long and that is exactly what happened this was taking forever so i ended up getting the socket set out anyway and that would have been time that i saved versus time that i wasted so if you have a nice set of sockets you can put this together in 15 20 minutes so very simple just a few bolts to put it together uh, I love the quality so far. Feels very, very, very sturdy. It does have the single front foot. I know that is uh, something that a lot of people like to have. A lot of people like to put their feet in close and having that the little bar on the front foot. A lot of people hate that. So that is one thing that you'll get here. Nice competition spec bench. We'll use it. And then I'll join you back here a few days from now once I've had a chance to use it multiple times. And then I'll give you my final thoughts on this bench. Now that I've been able to get my hands on the bench and actually use it, we'll get into more of an official review. First, we'll talk about the specs, then we'll talk about rep fitness versus rogue fitness because of course you have to make that comparison. And then we'll get into uh, flat benches versus adjustable benches in kind of a general sense on which one you should pick if you're trying to decide between the two. And then we'll talk specifically about the FB5000 versus the AB5100. But before we get into the video, hi, my name is Ryan Treadway, founder of TreadwayTraining.com, where we turn skinny guys into jacked men. If you want more information on body transforming training and nutrition topics every Sunday, along with the occasional product review like this one, consider subscribing. Getting into the specs of the bench, the bench is made of 3x3 11 gauge steel. This is the black powder coat version. It is also available in metallic black, which is the color I have for the AB5100. 
And then there's also metallic blue, a metallic red, and the website says that metallic silver is also an option, but I've never actually seen that as an option to add the car. So I'm not sure if they still offer that or if that's something that they used to offer that they've discontinued. So maybe or maybe not silver. The FB5000 weighs in at 62 pounds, which does put it at a little bit of the heavier end when it comes to flat benches, but it's really not very noticeable. It does have wheels on the back of it, which is something that a lot of flat benches don't have and it has the nice handle on the front. So it's very, very uh, maneuverable, very easy to move around. So don't have to worry about that. So it has that extra weight. So it's a little bit more stable, but at the same time, it's still easy to move. So it's kind of the best of both worlds right there. And plus at 62 pounds, it still only comes in at about 64% of the weight of the AB5100, which is 97 pounds. So this is quite a bit more maneuverable than a nice, high quality adjustable bench. The pad on this bench is an IPF spec pad. The pad height off the ground is 17 inches. The pad width is 12 inches. The length is 48 inches and the thickness is three inches. Taking a look at the overall dimensions, the total length is 50 inches. And then the widest point is the back foot and that is 21 inches wide. The FB5000 has a double back foot design, which has wheels on it, as I've already mentioned. And then as you've already noticed, it has a single front foot design to the joy of every powerlifter who has seen this bench. And lastly, the weight capacity on this bench is 1,000 pounds. So it's gonna handle most of what you can throw at it unless you're you know, competing for the world's strongest man or something like that. And now it's time for the inevitable rogue fitness versus rep fitness comparison. And I've said this multiple times in multiple videos, but for as good as rogue fitness is and as amazing as their products are as a whole, they just don't compare to rep fitness in the bench category specifically. Rep fitness just dominates the bench category. I mentioned it in the adjustable bench video and it's the same kind of situation for the flat bench category as well. Rogue's Monster Bench 2.0 comes in at $275 and in my opinion is not as good as the FB5000. The FB5000 comes with a competition pad by default whereas that's an extra $50 upcharge on the Monster Bench 2.0. And at that point, you're looking at a $325 bench versus a $149 bench. So you're talking about over double the price. And I still think that even with that upgrade, that the FB5000 is better. There are a few fit and finish things that just make it stick out over the 2.0. For example, the FB5000 has welded end caps on the spine of the bench, whereas the Rogue has plastic end caps. The Rep Fitness also has this nice printed logo on the side of the pad, and it has that nice stainless steel laser cut logo on the front foot as well. If we look at Rogue's bench that is closest in price, we're looking at the Rogue Utility Bench 2.0. That bench costs $30 more, uses less steel, doesn't have a competition pad, doesn't have a single front foot, doesn't have a handle, doesn't have wheels, and does not have the fancy steel cut logo on the front, which admittedly doesn't really matter, but is a nice touch. So you're getting a significantly better bench for $30 less. Now I know it sounds like I'm bashing Rogue, but I'm really not. We have Rogue products here. We have a Rogue rack. We have some Rogue plates, which I'll show you in a future video. I love Rogue. I love a lot of things about Rogue. I love that they're an American uh, company. You know, it's not that I don't like Rogue. It's just that I can't justify spending more money for a slightly lesser product. So briefly getting into the topic of adjustable bench versus flat bench and which one you should have in your gym. Um, the reason why we have both of them here because if you have a nice adjustable bench, you don't also need a flat bench. Uh, if you haven't watched the video where I talked about where my parents and I combined our equipment into their basement, this is my bench, this is their basement. And in the future, once my wife and I do build a house with a basement, I'm gonna be taking the equipment that is mine and moving it in there and starting my own uh, basement gym. So they were going to, at some point, need to get a different bench anyway. And so that's why they went ahead and got this nice 
flat bench to go in here. And to completely boil down the topic of adjustable bench versus flat bench, it all comes down to one thing. How much money are you willing to spend? If you're on a little bit of a tighter budget, do not get an adjustable bench because for the price of a top of the line flat bench, you're gonna be looking at a subpar adjustable bench. So I would much rather have a bench that has less utility, but is a very high quality bench versus an adjustable bench that sucks. Don't buy an adjustable bench unless you are willing to spend money on a good adjustable bench because for the price of a top of the line flat bench, you're gonna be looking at something like the Titan Fitness uh, adjustable bench v2 my parents actually own the titan fitness adjustable bench v2 and as you can see it is not in this video because <laughs> it is terrible there's a lot more metal there's a lot more moving parts when it comes to an adjustable bench so they cost a lot more to get a good adjustable bench you're going to be paying at least double what you'd be paying for a good flat bench the fb5000 which i've already mentioned is 149 the AB5100 is $399. So when it comes to the top of the line in both of these categories, the FB5000 is going to be the top of the line for the flat bench category. And in my opinion, the AB5100 is the top of the line for the adjustable bench category. So I do have a specific video on this bench. If you want to check that out, I will link that up in the cards and also down in the description. So you can check this video out as well. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. If you hate it, give a thumbs down. If you want more content just like this, consider subscribing or you can check out one of the videos that will be up on the screen. You can also check us out in the private Facebook group, Skinny to Jack Society, which will be linked down in the description below. As always, God bless you and your family, and we'll see you next week.